Research has it that working with your spouse has an impact on your personal relationship as some couples believe that working and building a business together has made their personal relationship much stronger, deepening their trust, appreciation and making both the business and marriage more successful. But the question is, is it healthy for couples to work together? Well, we're about finding out from this couple, Andrea and Collins Teke, who do not only have the same career, but also work in the same organization and as well share office space. This is how these two on-air personalities resume their dream career jobs together every day. Collins and Andrea Teke were renowned individual broadcasters before they fell in love and got married. Not a few people think that relationships are hard enough to deal with on their own. And when you throw working together into the mix, it can get even trickier. One interesting thing about the techers is how seamless the couple anchors the same show together, a first of its kind in Nigerian radio. Lagos, Nigeria, we want to know how you're doing this morning. What is going on around your area? We want you to tell us and also scream, what's up, Lagos? Yes! Yes! Chase the light! They didn't always work together. Collins used to run a production studio, and it was at work that he met Andrea. I needed a female voice. The client demanded for a specific female voice that sounded a certain way. And um, we explained it to one of my you know, uh, staff or team members at the time. And he said, no, I know this lady. This lady is, you know, she's, she has a great voice. She's fantastic. She's beautiful. So, uh, the boss, if you, <laughs> you women like the babe self, you know, that kind of thing. And I said, okay, let's, let's hear. And before you know it, I was a phone call. Before you know it, and then, bam, it was timely. She came into the studio working, you know. She just stole the presence of the room like, ah, uh, you know. And uh, I couldn't do anything. I didn't have anything in mind because at the time, I was in a, another relationship. What happens at home? Does Andrea take up the role of a traditional African wife and mom? I'm blessed to have him. I just, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure that I'll be able to meet up. I'm not sure that I would be able to meet up if he has not been the, the way he has been, mm -hmm. that is being super supportive. Um, I wake up in the morning and the first thing is to take care of my baby because we have a son together. Mm -hmm. The first thing is to okay, t take care of him, having have his bath, prepare yeah. his meal, you know, cook and, you know, clean, have my own bath prepared and then we come to work. But yeah. the good thing is he takes up the responsibility of bathing this boy in the morning. Yeah, so he takes that off my uh, duty, so to speak. Uh, sometimes I do it while he cleans or dresses him up and then I face the kitchen. So we share that responsibility. It's more like sharing the responsibility at home and also sharing the responsibility at work. So it makes it easy for me. You know, it's a situation of we are going to work together. Yeah. We have to leave at the same time. We and meet get to at the, the same office time. On time. Get on, on time and then do our show. We have to prep afterwards, do everything together. So I can't go back home and start saying, where's my food? Where's my food from where? <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So yeah. we plan it together. Yeah. And um, I think that pushed me to also, you know, rise to the occasion, which is something I would encourage, especially um, a couples, um, whether or not you're working together, to rise to the occasion when your woman needs it the most. Thank you. Spending time together may be good for their relationship, but this couple also faces challenges, especially in maintaining their individual identities. People will call on the show and say, eh hey, Collins, tell your wife. And the wife is right there. <laughs> you know, they call and, and they greet him first before they greet me. Some don't even greet me. Some don't even regard that I am on the show with him. Yeah. So it dealt with me when we started initially, dealt with me mentally, dealt with me emotionally because it felt like I am there but still not there hmm. because, you know, it took a while for people to recognize my presence because at the end of the day, you are his wife. You are supposed to calm down when he's talking. You're supposed to be <laughs> quiet when he's talking. And, you know, this is my job. I was a broadcaster before I got married to him. Yeah. And so it is my job first. And that's what people took a while to embrace. It's still something I'm dealing with. And I think that people would gradually get used to it. 
times. There are no yeah. days that we don't have. Times where we quarrel. Times where he's on a, on a different cloud. I'm on a different cloud. And we have to come on the radio and talk. And make Lagos happy. And do a kick, <laughs> kick a show. You know? You and know? make Lagos happy. So yeah. it is it's actually challenging where mm. you have to like don't let the, the world know that you're you're dealing with something. Yeah. You come on the air and be beautiful and be excited. We sometimes forget that we are having an issue or there's a quarrel or there's a misunderstanding or there's one problem to deal with right on the show. Yeah. And I thought the show were out when giving ourselves, oh, that was a great show. I don't know, right. <laughs> but we're fighting. We're fighting. <laughs> People tend to just make what they make out of the situation. So whatever you present is what they get. So before you know it, um, your individual brand starts sinking in the joint brand. Sharing an office space requires this couple having as little time away from each other as possible. As nerves may become frayed. We have to create the fun. Exactly what I was going to say. And make it a fun filled with. That's what we do. That's what our hair. We create so, our fun. Go somewhere Where we're alone. tensed. Yeah. Right? With everything with happening. Yeah. We go, we call it decluttering. We yeah. probably go to the beach side. Nobody with us. No just phones. the both of us. No phones, nothing. Yeah. And we are sitting, discussing what is going on in our lives yes. as One individuals mm -hmm. and also as a couple. We just declutter. What I have been having in my mind yeah. that is building up to a resentment, yeah. I tell it to him. He Not also him. tells me yeah. we find a way to trash it out. And it's a no judgment zone. Yeah, we don't we try we not don't to try judge to each other. Yeah. We just say the way it is. A number of private organizations don't allow their staff get romantically linked. Collins shares his view about this. It's a world that is changing from you know what it used to be, making laws just because you want to make laws, but doing it for the best interest, in the best interest of uh, those involved. So it's a question of, you know, the interest of those involved. I don't think it's a, it, it's, it, it changes anything. It, if anything, couples working together has proven, at least in our own case, that it, it promotes bonding. It also promotes, in fact, I've been a better broadcaster, you know, from the moment she joined me on radio. And even the listener could notice that i've been a better person individual even at work you know behaving myself not doing anything <laughs> what i mean my family is here i can't go around <laughs> messing around you know even if i'm even if i'm that crazy guy okay. i have to you know hmm. so the, this the, the benefits are countless so if i don't know what the fears are but i i think i want to talk to organizations who have such policies i think they should review it yeah and um you know give people the chance mm -hmm. i mean there's nothing wrong for people to be in love and work together that's right i agree with him the couple have advice for couples willing to work and build business together once you can create a great atmosphere when you're together when no one is looking at you when there's no camera like this one i'm sure you can replicate that easily when there's a camera so but if you do not have a great life and then you want to Fake it in front of people and come in and say, oh, everything is fine. Hey. You know, it's a matter of time. The toxicity that's involved in it would show and then it would affect the work. The work yeah. So it all depends on the couple. There would be challenges. There are things that you would experience that will make you feel like, no, I can't go on anymore. That's just the way marriage is. There are tough times that will make you feel like, yo, I cannot continue this. It's going to happen even with the business. But if you take it the way you take your marriage and say, regardless of this turbulence, regardless of the challenges, it has to work. We have to get it done. When you have that mentality, trust me. It might just come out beautiful. From the office of the tech guest, <laughs> so, yeah. we head to the home of another interesting couple that has been into automobile mechanics for many years. Wale and Taya Oshikoya have been married for 10 years and working together in repairing vehicles. This home doubles as one of their workshops in Lagos. Marrying Wale was a dream come true for Tayo. This work started through my husband, even when we were doing courtship, he has been on the field. I was not on the field, but I love the job. So after we get married, I have to join him so that we can work in together because it's what I've been willing to do for long. And I just love that job. I just love it because when I was small, it's my dad's feet. 
So I used to assist my dad when I was in primary, secondary school. So to God be the glory, after my uh, school and everything, getting married, God now gave me someone that I love and the few that I love most. Meet my wife, we married together, and I have to tell my wife that this is the kind of work that I'm doing. And I, I, I can somebody that I love so much, and she loved the work. So when I say, well, I have to tell him to go and quit where he's working before. That's the, there's one complaint that she's working and is managing the company, and she agree with me. She surrender. She say, okay, she quit from there, and we join the work together. And thank God for now. The home of Oshikoyas is well managed, according to a lady mechanic, as Tayo is called. My work did not disturb my home at all. Even we stay behind, maybe we close very late. My husband will tell me very early that you go home, children are home, they are off from school. Go home, then I'll come home, my husband will be doing the job. By the second day, early in the morning, we'll go to balance up the job. You say, Wally, I say, Ma, I say, this business, you have to go more forward now. I say, like how? You know, I introduced me to one uh, fashion last school in the Korodu, automobile school, technology. So we went together. We uh, take me to the school. I say, ah, oh boy, okay. So I asked some of my, so my junior brother, that's even my age, my children age mates. I say, ah, you see those ones that will sit down together in the class. I say, oh, no problem now. And I encourage myself because I know what I'm looking for. I know what I'm going. I know where I'm coming from. I know, I know where I'm going. So God give me the, the, I'll give God the glory. We we'll sit down together. We we'll write the exam, and they take me. So and I'll go there. He give me back school. He give me my shoe. Give me my everything uniform. I take it. I go to the school. I saw some of my age mates, of my class, of my children meet. We we'll sit down together. I say, Papa, say, how are you? I'm your Papa. Yes. Personal and marital issue and not allowed to link into the workspace. We both have our ups and downs, but it doesn't affect our business. Exactly. Our ups and downs is inside our room. Once we are in the same bed together, our ups and downs is off. It did not affect our work. We, the customer cannot even see it in my face. Exactly. Rather than for me to now say that, no, it's someone I love. Why will I disturb his business or why will I disturb my business? If that thing shows in my work, that means our career is nothing. Normally, as a woman, being as a flesh, we are flesh. We normally, we, sometimes we fight, we fight, we quarrel each other. I told you that, go and do this work. We say, ah, well, I'm tired, oh, I'm tired. Which kind of tired? My friend, you have to do it too. You also, I'm your boss. <laughs> say, okay, okay. You know that I'm tired, I'm a woman. I say, you have to do it. Because you love the job. You say, okay, 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 okay. And you do it. Sometimes, like last week now, I said him to go and do work in the badon. He said, ah, only me. I said, yes, now. You go and face the work and you defend the work. And you go. Sometimes we quarrel, you fight, but you say, I'll hug him back because I know that his woman says some things that I'll say, okay, okay come, come outside. Leave, 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 let me come and lose it for you. So we we'll have to settle it back. Wale and Tayo have had to endure side talks from people who think their line of profession is strange. There's one man I used to work with him. He just called me and said, Wale, I said, sir, he said, why, you, why your wife used to follow you up and down? I said, sir, my wife is my colleague. My wife is my partner for this business. If I want to take a boat now, or I want to do something, I want to buy this, I want to lose this, I will tell him, yeah, go and do this, go and do this. So um, since I've faced so many challenges on this work with my wife, but so far you, my wife, somebody like he make courage on the work, and she determined on him. There's no how people can discourage him. Even you face so many challenges on the mommy side, on family side issue. They say, ah, why you follow your husband? Why do you tell your husband to open a supermarket for you and do business and selling and do this? You say, mom, that's your own time. This is my own time. This person, I love it, and I love the job. So all the worry people saying, it's wrong. <laughs> Sometimes they call me, say, Wally, why you, you don't get money to give your wife? I say, mommy, it's not that I don't have money to give my wife, but my wife loves this job. So what? Well, say, okay, after some things, after so many years, they leave us.
if you are a dirty person from your home, you will surely be a dirty person. But if you need, if I'm going out now, wash my body, clean my hands, you won't believe that this person is a mechanic. <laughs> I fix fingers as well. I do makeup if I'm going out. You won't even believe that I am a mechanic. That is why at times if we go to customer's house, before putting on my overall, they will say, ah, you come with your wife. If they not say that, no, she's a mechanic. They will say, ah, the, the women, they love to see me doing the job. They will say, Oga, go and sit down first. Let me see her, the way she's performing, the whole things. Even if after everything, if the woman will not say, wow, women does this one. <laughs> if my workmanship is 200, 200 2,000, we say, oh, my dear, let me give her 5,000 because she encouraged me. Sometimes I will tell them that, okay, today we want to go out. We don't do any work. We don't have any customer's place today. We are going to dress. Wear your dress. Do your nails. Do everything. I will take him out to go and enjoy myself. As a woman, there is nothing hard. If you have the determination, this thing, I want to lose it. It's, it's almost the same thing, the way, the way we handle our husband and children at home. Any children that's very difficult, you know how to handle those children. That exactly that's why the work is. See people that start before us, that is doing this business, that there is no more again. But we will just give the God the glory because we achieved so many things on this work. And we thank God the... The, the, the kind of wife that is given to me. So I achieve so many things. The work that you are doing, you can be able to train your children's school, and you can be able to cater for your home, and you can even have a shelter on your head, having your own car. What else someone needs on this else? <laughs> Nothing more. They have also faced challenges working together as a mechanic couple. If you have a space outside there, People see couples working together. We have more customers. But immediately, you go outside there to make your own workshop. Government will come and demolish it. It's a big challenge on us, even all mechanics. They see the work as a dirty work, and they are going out on their daily basis with their cars. And of which, if the car eventually stopped on the road, they're still going to call we mechanics. Wale and Tayo believe mono-career couples can emerge strong and fulfilled as long as their values align. I encourage the people that want to do, do the business, they want to do the work, they should focus on the thing that they want to do. Don't look down on yourself. Maybe you are too big, you are too do this. Just focus on it. And the couples that want to do the business, they have to have trust. Trust your wife. Let your wife trust your husband. If you make money today, it's not that the money that you make today, you make sure that you finish all the money. You have to put some, you have to put half for savings or anything. Because like this job that we are doing now, we use some, our money to run the business. If you have passion, you have zeal for your husband's work, and you don't have anything doing, it's very advisable to join your husband once you don't have any skeleton in coats in your cupboard. So you have every right to join your husband just to make the business boom. Our findings point that some couple craft a way to thrive and love and work by understanding each transition and knowing what questions to ask and what traps to avoid. Just the life.